Hi, welcome to lecture three and we're going to be moving on to cultural variations or differences in attachment and the reason why um, this is on a specification and you need to know this is because um, it's a continuation really from what Bowlby said about attachment being an innate thing. If something's innate, that i.e. we're born with something, so everybody, so basically everybody around the world, it doesn't matter where, which continent you're living, living in, whether it be Africa, whether it be um, Asia, it actually doesn't matter, there should still be this attachment where um, there's going to be a reciprocal bond between two people that is a mother and usually the mother and a caregiver so technically we should find this all around the world if bulby is actually correct so some studies have looked at this but we're going to be focusing on remember you do not need to learn too many studies as long as you know um the few amount the few amount that you need to and you know them in terms of know how to evaluate then that is absolutely fine yeah so the key studies that are focused on is mary ainsworth not the strange situation though, but I decided to use Mary Ainsworth because we used her before and um, she'll be easy to remember. And Van um, Eisendun et al. So that is really, um, we've used him again before. So we're really recycling studies, but these studies have looked at different cultures in attachment. So our first study, um, Ainsworth, Ugandan study. Now Ainsworth done this study before she originally done the um, strange situation study in the USA. And Ainsworth used to work with Bowlby um, back um, early on before she went to Uganda. And she was she was basically quite a bit resistant to his ideas about attachment being innate until she came to Uganda. And what she saw, she observed um, women and their infants living in villages, like six villages um, in Uganda for like um, two years. So she just observed how they, um, how they responded, how these mothers responded to their children. And she was found that um, some mothers, some of these mothers were really, really, really sensitive to their infants. For example, they knew a lot more details about them. They could, they could talk a lot about them. And she found out that later on, these um, children were quite securely attached, i.e. they can, um, they, they were quite independent to explore, um, knowing that they can use their mother as a secure base. So again, this shows us, this, this research suggests that attachment is, um, especially secure attachment is universal and if it's universal if, if, if we get it everywhere that means it's actually innate so that kind of supports um, Bowlby's original, um, original theory about the whole um, sensitivity from the um, monotropy figure yeah so you have to be um, sensitive to your um, offspring um, they're still going on, but secure attachment is the best for emotional de um, development. And also, this study can supports the Van Eidendun et al. Um, study in terms of um, they still found that secure attachment um, is quite common, is, is the most common, or secure attachment is the best. Um, obviously, problems. I always have to have problems for research. Ainsworth went to Uganda. Now, I know Ainsworth, Mary Ainsworth, wasn't from Uganda. Um, so. It's going to be quite difficult from uh, somebody from a westernised part of the world, America or, or UK, going to a non-westernised part of the world and observing them. Unless they had really, really good um, interpretate, um, interpreters, um, sometimes interpretation, you can't really interpret everything properly. So, and I doubt Ainsworth really understood their language, even though she was there for two years. But sometimes, if you haven't grown up in a particular culture, you don't understand some of their ways. So, it could be open to all sorts of um, issues in, in terms of um, biases. And that leads on to problems with observations anyway. And whether it be in another culture or not, there are problems when people know you are observing them. If they know you're observing them, they might change their behaviour, which may minimise the validity of the study. So imagine somebody's watching me with my child. I'll be like, really? They're watching me? Everything will just be like perfect all the time? Okay, that might not be that might not be the most truthful. So you have to be aware of our um, strengths in the green and our weaknesses as well. Um, our second key study we looked at earlier um, earlier on in types of attachment when I use this study to support Mary Ainsworth's study. Um, just a quick recap of the study, a meta-analysis that is a co collation of different studies that have already been done. So different researchers have done this study. So what they just done, they looked at the conclusions of all these different studies or 32 of them. And they found that secure attachment out of these eight different countries, secure attachment was the most 
common type in every country, which again shows us that attachment is quite innate and um, it shows us that secure attachment is probably the best attachment for emotional development. Hence, the implication to this is that we now need to start um, helping parents to be more sensitive to their children so the children, they can have a secure attachment to their children. So children will grow up to be emotionally balanced adults. Um, Obviously, we have problems with meta-analysis. The main problems are that each of the studies, they may have not used the same designs. So conclusions may be off, especially when it comes to comparing stuff, because if you're not comparing the same type of study, they're quite similar. But if it's not the same, it's not really a comparison, is it? And then cultural bias, obviously, you're using the procedure that was devised in America, the strange situation, to go and look at other particular countries. Who's to know that some countries, their secure attachment isn't, oh, independent behaviour. So some cultures, like German, German, German um, cultures, um, um, German, they, um, they don't really like um, clingy babies. They like more independent babies and may, babies are going to do um, their own thing. And if we're using a strange situation on German babies, we'll find out that they're actually insecure avoidant, which may not be so correct. It may be for our point of view, but not for their point of view. So we have to be really, really sensitive to cultural bias. And that is the end of lecture three. Please join me for lecture 3A for look at the, looking at the past examination questions on cultural variations in attachment and how we go about answering it.